Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a 10 minute total core workout. You don't need any equipment, just make sure you have something soft beneath you. And if you have not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram. There I post more fitness content, behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are starting off on our backs. We're going to do some controlled bicycles. So lifting the shoulder blade up off the floor, both of your feet are elevated, twisting, reaching the elbow for the knee. Make sure you're pressing that low back into the floor so those lower abs are engaged. Good. We're taking a 15 second rest. Moving on to our second exercise. You're gonna do two crunches. So feet are flat on the floor. Fingertips are by the ears. We're not pulling on our heads here. So looking up to the ceiling, we're gonna do two crunches. Straight, one arm comes across, back to center. Other arm comes across, back to center. Two crunches and cross. Good, 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two before we move on. So we're working in pairs today. Back to those slow controlled bicycles. I say controlled because I find a lot of people when they're doing bicycles, they're focused on like as fast as they can go. And that way your lower back tends to lift off the floor. You're not really reaching, using all of those core muscles. So I like to take it nice and slow. So you're practicing form, good form over everything, that's how you get the most out of your workouts. Good, 15 second rest. You should feel it in that core already. Moving on to our two crunches. When you're doing these crunches, as you lift up, you're exhaling, pressing the low back into the floor and trying to get these shoulder blades up off the floor, keeping the neck nice and long, and then reaching across with each arm. Nice work. All right, we're moving on to our next set of two exercises. First up, you're gonna do a jackknife. So, feet are up in the air, arms are up, you're gonna drop everything down and bring everything up. Down and up. When you drop the legs down, you're keeping the low back pressed to the floor. And if this is too difficult, you can tap the heels to the floor, keep the legs bent and kind of modify it like this. Just make sure you're keeping that low back press to the floor.
Good, your second exercise is a reverse crunch. So now we're gonna focus on those lower abs. Again, you can modify this exercise by keeping the legs bent and tapping the heels to the floor. Your focus here is really using those lower abs and trying to send the knees and the feet up towards the ceiling versus back over your head. If you're focusing on pressing them up to the ceiling, you're really gonna feel that lower abs turn on. Good, give yourself a little breather. We're gonna repeat those two once again. Here we go, starting off with those jackknives. Just make sure you're taking these nice and slow, keeping everything nice and long, pressing the low back into the floor. If this one is bothering your neck, you can keep the head flat on the floor and just move the arms and the legs. Good, taking a quick breather. Getting ready for those reverse crunches. Nice work. All right, we're gonna end off this workout with a little bit of obliques. So you're gonna come into a high plank. You could also do this in a low plank if uh, your wrists bother you. You're going to bring same knee to same elbow, back to center. As you're doing this, try not to like shift your weight here. You're trying to keep the core parallel to the floor the whole time. Good, give yourself a breather. We're gonna do that again. All right, last 45 seconds. You can do it. Keep your bum nice and low in this high plank. Weight is shifted forward onto those hands. Bring those knees in as much as you can.
And that is it, guys. Great job, that's a quick, killer 10 minute total core workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know how you did in the comments. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.